Hi, my name is Albert Silver, and I'm an editor of Chessbase News. In this second video on My Games Cloud of Chessbase account, I'd like to show you some of the database management features using the cloud functionality. Now, there are two ways essentially to create and work with databases within the cloud. The first is obviously within the My Games Cloud functionality directly in your browser using Chessbase account. And the second is within Chessbase 13. Both will create and manage databases within the same cloud, which you will access either via Chessbase 13 or via your browser. Let's first start with Chessbase 13 so that I can show you how that works. First, open Chessbase 13. And here we go. And here you can see I have the layout of the interface with a number of databases. I've already created two databases for that purpose. The first is 50 games, and the second is 3,000 games. Now, as a rule, if you're going to work with very large amounts of games, which 3,000 games would count as a large database in this case, you're going to want to probably use the Chessbase 13 to manage and move these games around within the cloud. That isn't to say that you cannot do that directly within my cloud, but it can be a little bit iffy if you work with really large databases. So first, let's go to Cloud Databases. And here you can see that it's connected. It's recognized my username, how much space I've used, very little, and a number of databases, all of which I would see if I were using my games cloud. And we're going to create, actually, no, there's no reason to create anything. Let's just work with one of the databases. We'll use, um, Albert's Games. Why not? Okay. Now, if I go back to my databases, all of a sudden I now can see all of the databases that I had before, as well as the cloud databases, which are now visible, represented by these little pink clouds. Let's move the divider down a little bit, make it easier to work with. And here you can see my Albert's Games, which we have two games, and we have the 3,000 games either the PGN or the plain CBH file. Here, I'll click over here. I'll click on Control-A, as in all, and I'll just drag and drop these games, as I would with any database, directly into Albert's Games. You'll recall that it only had two games within it. I'll move it over here, drag and drop. Ask me if I want to cap copy 3,408 games. For the record, I just grabbed randomly a bunch of games from uh, Mega Database 2016, which happened to include the Qatar Masters Open of 2014 and the Dubai Olympics. Okay. Click on OK, and it starts to import them. And I'll click on Albert's Games, and now I can see that I have all of these games added to the database. Let's quickly go directly into My Games Cloud in the browser just to confirm that all of that has been used. And if we look carefully, we can still, still see that it's uploading all these games. Use space on server, 1.3 megabytes, 1.4, so it's still uploading them. Okay. Two megabytes. Let's let it finish. I can't actually tell you how big that database would actually be at the end. Let's find out. Still uploading. And it looks like it's done. 2.7 megabytes, about 1%, a little over 1% of the 200 megabytes allowed. Excellent. Now let's go back to the browser. And now we're going to click on My Games Cloud over here. Give it a second to open it up. and my internet connection seems to be taking its time. Ah, finally. I apologize for this small delay. Unfortunately, broadband here in Brazil can be a little bit 
iffy at times. Okay, now here we have the default database, which happens to be um, playchess.com games. Fine. And we're going to access a different database instead. We'll go over here to databases, open database. And here all of a sudden we can see Albert's games, and we can see 3,410 games. They have two out of 3,408. The total seems about right. Let's open it up just to confirm. And indeed, we have a very long list of games. We'll scroll down. It seems to be all there. Okay, looks pretty good. Let's click on a game randomly to make sure. And looks good. We can actually open up the database. We can see the game over here. And of course, we have the Livebook Premium features, all of which were explained and presented in the first video. Excellent. Let's now see how we would, let's move some games from this database to another database. So we're going to, oh, let's click on over here and let's highlight these games right here from Vaganyan to John. Fine. And we have, uh, let's count them, 14 games. To move these to another database, how would we do this? Well, we highlight them, obviously enough. And we can highlight one or two others as well. Let's click on over here, pressing the control key. And now we have all of these highlighted. And we're going to press copy. We've copied them to the clipboard. And we're going to open a different database. And let's choose um, my games or we only have four games. Excellent. And now we're going to click on Paste down here in the corner. It recognizes that I had 15 games. Sounds good. Paste them. Absolutely. Bingo. Now we have moved 15 games from that database, copied them in any case, from that database into My Games one of the random databases. What if I were to open up a different database? Um, let's call it, um, well, let's just choose one we already have. It'll be Black Repertoire, of which, no, League Games, where we have two games as well. Okay, good. We have Silver versus Karyalka, and we have Caruana versus Svidler. And we'll click on paste, and there's nothing to paste. So, once you've pasted the games, the clipboard is emptied, and you would need to repeat the process. That's fine. Let's go back to it. We can just double click on it. We'll click on our Kasparov, we'll click on this one, we'll click on this one, we'll click on this one, we'll click on this one. There we go. We have five games. We'll press copy again. We'll open a database. We'll go to League Games by double clicking on it. And we'll press paste. Paste five games. Wait a second, and there we go. So, as you can see, moving games is not a difficult process. If I were to transfer games from a database that I didn't create within Chessbase 13. Let's suppose I decided to simply import a PGN file that I happen to have on the computer that I downloaded off the net or on a pen drive, for example. Well, let's click on Open PGN. And we have a number of databases. Let's go to Chessbase 13, my work, and we'll filter for PGNs. There we go. There we go. 50 games PGN. Let's open it. And sure enough, we have a selection of games. 
all of them, or many of them, commented. Excellent. Let's suppose that I wanted to import all of these games from the PGN directly into one of my cloud databases, since this PGN file isn't necessarily saved. It's not a problem. Highlighted all of them, we'll click on Copy over down here in the corner. We'll go to a database, open a database. My masterpieces, whatever. We'll click on Paste, Paste 50 Games. Give it a second, and we're done. Now, it works very well with small quantities of games. The size of the database, however, using the web browser may depend on the amount of memory you have and a number of other features. It might become unstable. I'm not saying it will, but if you're going to work with thousands of games, you're probably better off working directly within Chessbase 13. That isn't to say, however, that you cannot work with many games. In fact, for the record, let's actually try it. Let's open a database, the big one, 3,000 games, should be over here somewhere, there we go. This is a verbatim copy of the one that we saw directly within Chessbase 13, and as you can see, we have 3,408 games, so we're going to click on one, and We're going to have to do this the usual way, since Control-A doesn't seem to be working here. I'll click on the end, and then we'll click on over here with the Shift key. We've highlighted now 3,408 games, and we're going to try to copy them all and paste them all. Remember, this is a PGN file on the computer. This is not a cloud database. So none of these games are yet in a cloud database. Copy them. And let's, well, let's create a new database. And we'll call it Cloud 3000. Double click on it. And of course, it's empty. And now we're going to paste all of the games and cross our fingers. No, the video did not freeze. I was just waiting to see if anything happened. Oh, we're finally getting a little bit of action. Loading, loading. Well, that's a promising message. Okay, we can see grayed out. It's still loading, but we can already see a number of games appearing. Seems to be taking a little bit of time to complete the process. Hold on. Looks pretty good. Well, this, we're missing a few at the end, though. So scroll up. Okay, we have the Dubai Olympiad. Still missing a few. Well, did better than I expected. And I don't mean to, this to be a negative comment on uh, the cloud database feature within 
um, the browser. Uh, it is simply that I have noted that when you're working with very complex features, especially with so many games, remember that these are a lot of uh, that's a lot of data that it's trying to organize and shift through. It can sometimes be a little bit erratic, and okay, but the games are actually showing up. So it might be just a name. Let's do the following. The games have already been saved. We'll open a different database and return to it. No, it says 3,372. So. Let's drag it again. And that more or less confirms what I had initially warned about. Although it is capable of transferring large numbers of games, if you're going to work with many, many games, thousands of games, tens of thousands of games, it's perfectly capable of handling them, notably to open and shift and sift through them. But if you're going to work with moving the games around, you might be better off using a program such as Chessbase 13. However, as you can see, saving and moving games around is perfectly possible, even opening up a PGM. Now suppose you wanted to do the opposite. What if I wanted to save these games into a PGN file onto my computer to move around, let's say, in a pen drive, pass it on to a friend, whatever. You can do this, but not as a whole database. You can do this one game at a time. Now you've noticed that when you open a game, you have a little PGN blue link here at the bottom of the notation, down here in the middle. If I click on it, it will essentially save the game that's been opened. So in this case, I have Nightage versus Stepanova. Now if I click on PGN, it saves it to a PGN file into my computer that I can then open up into another program. Now you'll notice that it already has a Chessbase 13 icon because PGN files have been linked to Chessbase 13, so I will click on it and it will open up Chessbase 13 to open up that one game as a file. And sure enough, I've opened it up and I immediately have access to it. And of course, I can add many, many more games to the databases on the cloud using Chessbase 13 or directly within the browser. And that sums up the lesson of today on managing databases within the cloud using either Chessbase 13 or the My Games Cloud functionality. Thank you for watching. Until the next time, bye-bye.